Hello everyone, I'm Danny Sreeskandaraja from Civicus, the World Alliance for Citizen Participation. Greetings from Johannesburg. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be with you at Wilton Park. I love Wilton Park and I've been to some fabulous conferences there. I also happen to love DFID. I think it's a great development agency. So that's why I'm doubly disappointed I can't be there with you. Uh, but I hope you're having wonderful weather. I'm sure in Sussex it's much like this, sunny and 29 degrees. The topic you're going to be talking about, beyond aid and about building a new partnership around development, I think is incredibly important and it's timely that you're having this conversation. Here we are this year about to design a new sustainable development architecture, a new framework that I hope does well and truly go beyond aid. And I'm out here on Guigui Mwebi Street. You can see Civicus House, our headquarters, just back there. Because to me, this street and this city, this country, demonstrates why we need to move beyond a simple aid framework. Um, back at that end of the street is the central business district of Johannesburg, one of Africa's largest cities, home to its largest mining companies, the world's largest brewers. Home, and South Africa, home to 50,000 of the 70,000 dollar millionaires that this continent is home to. But this is also a country where one in four people go to bed hungry, where millions of people still live with less than a dollar twenty-five a day. And if you look at the other end of the street, there are housing projects where if you're lucky enough, uh, you can be housed at relative subsidy. But those people live a very different lifestyle from the Joburg inhabited by the, the rich businessmen at the other end of the street. And so here we are in South Africa, a country about to graduate to middle income status, a country that DFID is withdrawing from because it doesn't qualify. But it's also a country where poverty is by no means ended and where external assistance and external development cooperation is still needed. So at the very least, when you look at countries like South Africa, but also Brazil or South Africa uh, or, or India, you have to come up with a more sophisticated framework for understanding the development challenge but also addressing it. And this year, I think, is the perfect opportunity to come up with that framework and build that new global partnership. From a civil society point of view, I also think it's a great time to think about the role of civil society in that new global partnership. What's becoming clear to me, we have members in Civicus in 145 countries, many of whom are working in development in one way or another. What I hear from them is that they are thirsty to be an active and important or integral part of that development process. That civil society in many countries is doing development, not just delivering services, de uh, uh, delivering education, sanitation, but also empowering people, making them active citizens, owning the development process. And so I hope that we see a role for civil society in this new framework that puts it at its rightful place in the center of the development process. And not just as, as bystanders, not just seen as critics sitting across the table from governments uh, holding them to account, which we'll continue to do by the way, uh, but it's important I think to think about this more nuanced process. And in doing that I hope we can also build development institutions and international institutions that are also uh, more willing and able to engage citizens and civil society. That the sort of international institutions that we built seven, eight decades ago are no longer fit for purpose. They reflect a, 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 an entirely state-centric view of how the world works and they don't really engage meaningfully civil society or indeed many other stakeholders. So I hope we can use this process of thinking about what a new global partnership to also think about the new institutions we need to make that partnership a reality. So I hope you have a fantastic few days in Wilton Park. I really look forward to what you come up with. Uh, all the best from Johannesburg. Thank you.